What's up guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Nick and in this video we are going over week three and four of the 15 by 15 eBay reseller challenge. If you're not already aware, I am doing a challenge through my YouTube channel and my Instagram account where we go to thrift stores, we find items. I say we, meaning the people that are participating in the challenge. You find items, you spend initially $150 on the item on your sourced products. And then you sell those items for one and a half times what you paid for them at a minimum. And then you do that 15 times, 15 cycles. And then uh, at the end of it, you have a substantial chunk of money. Now, that being said, uh, it is easier said than done simply because things take time. And I'm finding that I'm not closing out week over week with everything being sold. It's actually taking me about a week and a half to two weeks to sell through most of my items. Obviously, there's going to be some things that don't sell, and that is just sort of part of the game. Uh, they're going to take a little bit longer. However, as long as you have that money for the next cycle to start again, then uh, awesome. That's great. So let's jump into my computer here, and I will show you exactly what we're doing. For me, uh, each cycle is taking about one and a half to two weeks, like I mentioned. Uh, I am playing to my daily schedule. So that being said, I have a ton of inventory, probably 10 to 20 times more inventory for just regular sales than I do for this challenge. So it takes up a tremendous amount of my time. That being said, all of the money that I make from the 15 by 15 challenge goes directly back into its own individual sourcing account. I actually started a checking account simply for the 15 by 15 challenge so that all funds could be separated and we could track everything to the penny. It's key. What you track grows. Here on my spreadsheet, this is the actual uh, spreadsheet that I have for the 15 by 15 challenge. You see down at the bottom there, it says 15 by 15 resale challenge. This uh, from line two, where it says Under Armour, all the way through line 14, this was from the first cycle. So uh, this was the first cycle before I bought anything else to start reselling. We made $307.59 there. Uh, that all that money got dumped back in. So we actually doubled our money. We started out with 150. We didn't even sell everything from that uh, from that haul. There's still five or six items left over that have not sold yet, but we still made $307.59 from that. Now, getting into the second cycle. So this would be week three and four. That's where we're sitting now. Uh, you can see starting here on the 19th of October through today, which is the 28th, and we're already up to $317. There's about 15 or 16 items that are still remaining from this haul or this, uh, this cycle that still need to sell. However, we have that $317 in the bank ready to go. The green that you see here simply means that I've already cashed those amounts out. If it's still in white, that just means that uh, that money is either pending or it's in transfer or it just needs to be settled in the account so that we can uh, move on from there. Now I'm going to jump into my Vendu. Vendu is the cross listing software that I use. There's a link in the description below where if you click on it, you'll get 25% off your first month. Uh, be sure to check that out. I've been using it for a few months now and it's been doing wonders for me. Uh, I'm able to list directly to eBay and then I go into Vendu and I pull the listing in from eBay and then uh, I cross list it across the selling platforms where I sell, uh, which is currently Poshmark and Mercari. We have about 450 items on uh, all the platforms, and those are all cross-listed items. So 450 individual items cross-listed across all the platforms. Um, you can see where there's sold items. What I'm going to do is I'm going to search by SKU. I'm just going to type 15 uh, 15 dash two because this is going to bring in cycle two of what we are uh, what we're working on. So there you see we've got a bunch of stuff for sale. If, if you see these three icons right here, that means they are still for sale. Obviously, if it says sold, then it's sold. All right, you can see right here October nineteenth of twenty twenty. These sold. These sold on eBay. They are Nike Air Jordan. Uh, 11 breads, sold them for 30 plus $10 shipping, and we can bounce back to the spreadsheet, and that correlates right there on the 19th. Sold those uh, for $39.94 after shipping and everything was taken care of. Now, I charge a flat rate for shipping, which is $9.95 on eBay, and that one took $8.24. So we made a little bit of money there 
on that shipping. However, they're not always that way. Sometimes you end up shipping something for more than the $9.95 that you charge because some sales are a little bit cheaper in shipping. You can balance out the scales that way. If you want to see, you can pause this video or whatever uh, and see what we still have for sale. We've got these Converse All-Stars selling them for 24 bucks. I think that's a bit high, but um, they are open for offers. And so if someone offers me and I can make the $8 that I need to make on them after all fees and shipping and everything's done, I'll take that offer. I actually sold these already on Poshmark, so I need to click sold here. And what that does is it, uh, it marks it as sold on the platform and then it delists from eBay and from Mercari. So it's doing that work for me as I make this video. Uh, I slacked on that one, that's for sure. Uh, going back to Vendu. And the cool thing is as it's delisting, you don't have to uh, pay attention to it. You just keep working. You can bounce in and out of listings on here and it, uh, it takes care of everything for you. It's great. So you can see we have some decent sales with the 15 by 15 challenge. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then there's this one that sold today that I missed also. So we will go and uh, mark that as sold on Poshmark. Confirm, and it is delisting as we speak. Awesome. As soon as it's finished delisting, it will show up here as sold. Let's refresh this. There we go, sold on Poshmark, and it's delisted from the other platforms. Super pumped that this challenge is going well. I know that there are there are a few people on Instagram that stay in contact with me that are also selling on the 15 by 15 challenge, and it's going great for them. Honestly, like I'm so pumped that there are people that are doing better sales than me. I don't consider myself like a um, superstar eBay seller or anything like that. I do like to see people doing better than me because I know that if I'm making it and I'm doing the right thing and I'm getting sales and they're doing better than me, then that is super gratifying to me to know that people are, are pushing harder, they're going further and they're doing more than I'm doing and I feel like I'm doing a lot. So uh, that is really, really uh, gratifying to me to know that people are doing so well with this challenge. So going back here, uh, we have a few transfers to make once that money comes in from Poshmark and Mercari. And then on Monday, uh, we're getting back at it. We're out, we're gonna take our 317 plus whatever the weekend decides to bring us for funds and we're going to absolutely crush and carry through to cycle three for me because the first two weeks was cycle one the second two weeks which we're going to be finishing up here soon is cycle two and then moving on now it should be a 15 week reselling challenge however that being said um, because i'm taking the two weeks it's stretching out to about 30 weeks for the entire thing two weeks per cycle times 15 cycles equals 30 weeks i'm okay with it uh, it is pulling it a little bit further. But if you look at the numbers, when you take $150, multiply that times 1.5, and then multiply that out times 15, it ends up being five figures. And so I'm okay with uh, with taking the time, right? To be patient and take the time to grow that money. One thing that I wish I could have done was to set up separate accounts for eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari for the 15 by 15 challenge. However, that's not really a thing that I can do because we've got so much inventory that we're always selling. Uh, it just did not make sense to separate onto different platforms. And then also, I believe that it is because we make such great sales with our normal inventory that we're having such success with this 15 by 15 merchandise. So that being said, uh, we're gonna continue on with this. And then maybe one day the 15 by 15 merchandise will eclipse the normal merchandise and then I don't know what road I would take at that point. Also, I'm not sure whenever it gets to, uh, you know, a thousand or two thousand or four thousand dollars per week that we have to spend. I'm not really sure what road to take at that point, but I'm going to get there. And then when I get to that bridge, I will assess, I will evaluate, and then I will cross that bridge with what will seem to be at that point, the wisest decision to make. I'll keep you guys posted and I will continue to update this every week and a half to two weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some value out of it. If you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing. Hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm if this video brought value to you. And as always, keep selling, get the bag, and I'll see you on the next video.